everybody welcome to or welcome back to my channel building a morning routine that i can look forward to and that makes me excited to wake up has been such a game changer especially now that we have entered into the colder months of the year and it can feel just so hard getting up in the mornings having a consistent and sustainable routine can help you set a positive tone for your day allowing you to accomplish more stay more focused and present i have also found it to help me with my stress and anxiety levels I'm going to try to incorporate some sort of mindfulness practice such as my quiet time, reading, or journaling. One of the first things I like to do as soon as I wake up is go and do some light organizing of my space. So as I work from home, I like to make sure my house is tidy as it helps me feel less cluttered. I always try to clean up during my nighttime routine to make sure that only around 15 to 20 minutes of light picking up is needed, such as unloading the dishwasher and just picking up some clothes. I then like to grab a cup of water. I always tend to go for cold water, but some mornings I will do warm water with a slice of lemon and just enjoy that while I read my book and work on my to-do list for the day. Creating my to-do list first thing gives me so much more clarity and focus and helps me prioritize my time during the day and helps me ensure that I am managing my time correctly. After that, I'll go and change into my workout clothes and sometimes we'll do a Pilates workout. I find that these are the best workouts that work the best for me as they give me so much energy and I also like to pair that with a little bit of stretching. It's so important to find a type of movement that you enjoy and provides you with a natural boost of energy, as well as also just adds to your overall health. Remember that moving in the morning doesn't always need to be a 15 minute long workout class. It can just be grabbing your mat and heading to your living room to do a quick five to 20 minute workout. Just really working with the time that you have and seeing what your body needs that day. Good morning everyone, happy Thursday, today's a Thursday. I just did the majority of my morning routine right now. I just finished my workout, I did a 10 minute ab today and also like a 10 minute stretch and now I'm gonna do my skincare and head on a walk with Play-Doh, so let's do it. I'm literally running out of this one, I need to stock up. In the morning, I never do any skincare, to be fair, either at night, but I just do a cleanser or exfoliating. I exfoliate like every two days, and then I just do a moisturizer, brush my teeth, and I'm good to go. But definitely want to start learning more about serums and all of that and try and incorporate that in my routine. I just feel like I don't know how to apply them in like what order. So I'd rather not do that because sometimes you put them in the wrong order and they're like not effective. So need to learn first and then apply. I also, I need to get an electric toothbrush. I used to have one, but I lost the charger. So I can't use it because I can't charge it. Um, but mine is like super old. So I wanted to get like one of those like really cute fancy ones that like once you've brushed your teeth for like two and a half minutes, they give you a smiley face. I don't know, that looks very rewarding. It's very nice. Where do you go walkies? Do you want to go to the park? I just need to grab a sweater because it is in fact very cold. And a jacket. Hey Siri, turn off the lights in the living room. So we're ready to go. Are you making a protein smoothie? Yeah. I guess we're having a protein smoothie. Freddie's coming on a walk with us this morning. Say hi, Freddie. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> Come on, let's go on this I will usually have something small for going on a walk because otherwise starvation hits and we don't want that. So today, Freddie, I guess, is making a protein shake. We're using this new one. We've never tried it, actually. We got it in a PR package the other day. And it looks so, so nice. So what flavor is it? Berry. Berry flavor. Okay, that sounds nice. So we're gonna do that, obviously, with our plenish milk, because nothing's better than plenish. This is really good. Guys, he was literally shivering. 
Here we go. Look at you. Oh no, he's so shivery. Please do. Oh my goodness. It's okay, you're gonna warm up now. Nothing more I love than the morning light. So gorgeous. We are going on a small walk today. We usually go for like an hour, maybe sometimes more. Um, but today we're only gonna do like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, because it is a bit later than usual. So yeah, I'm not listening to anything because Fred is here, so I'm listening to him instead. I usually just listen to a podcast. Or some music or just have to pay attention to Plato because he always has to do something that he shouldn't be doing we're gonna head to Dalesford because we don't have a lot of groceries it is Thursday we have consumed all of them even though we always plan to buy for a week but then we always eat everything so we're gonna get some breakfast go home and eat it Now he goes crazy. I'm gonna open the door and he's gonna go absolutely crazy. We're back from our walk now. I'm gonna get some breakfast started. I'm making breakfast for Freddy too. We're gonna have the same thing, so it's super easy. And yeah, so excited to eat because I'm quite hungry. Let's go make some breakfast. Kickstarting your day with a filling, nourishing breakfast is essential for providing your brain with the essential nutrients it needs to improve your concentration and cognitive performance. Beyond this, it's also crucial for maintaining steady blood sugar levels, which in turn will offer you sustained energy. I typically like to change up my breakfast depending on how much time I have to prepare it and what I have in my fridge, but we'll always make sure I include some type of protein, carbs, healthy fats, and antioxidants. It also personally feels very rewarding knowing that I am taking care of myself and fueling my body in the right way and of course gives me energy to stay active and accomplish everything I want to get done that day. breakfast this morning we've got some toast with cream cheese smoked salmon and boiled eggs and I got some blueberries and then I just made the exact same thing for Friday I think I would consider myself a morning person being awake when the Sun hasn't risen yet honestly makes me feel so peaceful and present in the moment I don't turn on my phone for the first three hours of the morning because remember you don't have to be available at all times of the day and it's okay to prioritize you time as well one thing that has really helped me to not want to press that snooze button in my alarm every morning has been changing to a sunlight alarm and also making sure that I go to sleep at the right time so I can have those 8-9 to nine hours of sleep that I know my body needs. I'm ready for the day. I just got dressed with this comfy outfit. I'm wearing my jeans from Good America and these are probably my favorite pairs of jeans. I wear them all the time. They're just really really comfy. And then this uh, wool sweater, jumper, cardigan, <laughs> I'm not sure, um, from Abercrombie. And yeah, super comfortable. And I don't have anywhere to be today. I think um, I might have an event this afternoon, but rather than that, I just need to work all morning and all afternoon. I need to edit, plan, um, so all of that. So let's go sit down in my little desk i'll show you guys where i basically spend all of my day because i work from home so yeah i'll show you guys my desk okay i don't know what happened here but we're gonna clean this up and then we can sit down and focus That is all for today's video you guys this video is what i would describe as my ideal morning routine but obviously every single day is different these are just the habits i like to remind myself of i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you all very very soon